Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jaser. In this video, let's talk about uh, tr uh, Tree Walker API. Uh, actually, there's a lot of APIs. Um, if you take a look at the MDN, you can see there's a whole big list of them. Some of them are deprecated, some of them are ex experimenting right now. But anyway, I have never uh, looked through them uh, before so i began uh, i just i've decided to start a new series of looking through uh, the web apis uh, so these apis are all about the javascript the host environment it's not in the language itself um yeah somebody asked in my uh, recent video say how uh how am i uh, getting known of this uh, APIs, honestly, I, I I don't know. I just uh, look through the Twitter, any uh, sources to follow, and uh, finally I reached this document web APIs. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, just uh, look around. It's very interesting. So, uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, uh, tree walker. Uh, as the name says, it says walk the tree, right? Uh, I've, we've already done a lot of, lot of pre problems about a DOM traversal. Uh, if you are interested, you can search on the bfe.dev. There's a, a whole a bunch of questions about DOM um, uh, traversing. So um, actually in the uh, browsing environment, um, there actually is this tree work API. Uh, let's just jump straight into the demo here. So first we create a walker. Uh, actually, to actually, uh, every anytime I solve the algorithm problems, I always create the methods called walk. Uh, it's not walker, but walk. Or you can name it as visitor. Uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, the AST traversal uh, API design for Babel. Uh, you can see a lot of the, like visitor stuff in there. Anyway, uh, the first argument is the DOM element. So here we we try to walk through. The, the body and then this is the I, I should say it's a like a initial filter if you want to uh, traverse through all the elements or including the comments including the text stuff you know comments is another node element is another node and text is another node right and uh, yeah and then the third one is a, like a filter uh, you can literally do any logic it's like the array filter uh, method uh, you just to return a boolean for that check it and the last one what is the last one expand entity references a boolean flag entity where if and discarding entity reference its whole subtree must be discarded at the same time wow this is uh looks powerful but i i don't know uh yeah it's actually for some cases like uh, I, I cannot think of a case instantly right now but it's useful uh anyway let's just uh, try to to run this against uh, our uh our document here. So let's create a walker called, uh, let's say walker equals document create tree walker. And uh, we want to traverse through this document here, uh, this DOM here. So it's code example. So we use dollar sign here. What to show? Uh, it said node filter uh, show all, okay? Show all. And then we do nothing so yeah and that's it and then we just like a generator we could get the next node uh that node and what node equals walker next hmm? it's not next it should be next uh what's it next node yeah next node we console lock it that's it. You can see that we have already looped through all the nodes. Uh, in a DFS fashion, you can see that first we get a pre, and then we get into code, right? And then document, span, and uh, a period, and the span, text, span, text, 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 and uh, yeah, that's it. Span, then there's some text here, and uh, then button, scan, copy. Cool. So yeah, this is a DFS. You can just we could just use tree, tree Walker. So what if you want just to filter the element rather than text? Uh, it's easy. Let's um, show element here. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, no, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to reload it. Um, sorry, I cannot update the const. I guess I don't know. Oh, he's a typer here actually. Show element. Great. You can see uh, the text are already filtered out. Uh, we only get the uh, the element here. So span, span, so all span. There's no code. Where is the code? Oh, interesting. Ah, because a dollar, a dollar sign is actually pointing to the code. Let's point to the pre. Okay. Yeah, we can see that first code and then span. Um, span, span, span. And what if you want just one to span? Well, we could use the third parameter here. Uh, element. We could check if element is the HTML span element, right? And then the uh, code should be gone. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, we could use a new uh, tree walk API here, and anytime you want to do DFS uh, for the DOM tree, super cool. What if we want to do the there's a is there like a method allowing us to do BFS root what to show? Yeah. Actually, we cannot. Yeah, we cannot do the BFS here. We only see the uh, DFS. Let's see the DOM standard. Uh, yeah, Walker Tree Walker set Walker's route. What to show? What filter return Walker? Tree Walker object. Um. You can see the definition here to Travis children, current first child, and then the last child. While note the result filtering, and then no sibling. Yeah, you can see that first gets the first child, and then uh, go to the next sibling. So it's DFS. Awesome. So that's it. It's a very interesting API here. I want to show you. Uh, just uh, if you have the time, just uh, look through the MDN. I think the MDN is a super. A meaningful and useful materials for us to learn about JavaScript, about web stuff. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.